lesson 14.6, estimate mass. I can use standard units to measure the masses of solid objects. I can also reason about math. Look at the pictures of the book and all of them. List four items that should be measured along kilograms and four items that should be measured using grams. Solve this problem any way you choose and explain your reasoning. So you can do that one and figure out what should you, what would you measure that is also a gram and what would you measure as kilograms. You can use reasoning. How can the mass of a book and mass of an olive help your, you make your list and show your work? And then on the bottom... This is how could you use tools to check the items as part of your list are reasonable choices for measuring mass of grams. You would want to use a scale. How can you use reasoning to estimate mass? Stephen and Marissa estimate the mass of an apple. Stephen's estimate is 250 grams. Marissa's estimate is 2 kilograms, which is the better estimate of the mass of an apple. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in the object. Grams and kilograms are two metric units of mass. One kilogram, one gram, and question mark. So use known masses in the table to compare grams to kilograms. Select the unit that will give a better estimate. The apple is smaller than the cantaloupe. A kilogram is too large of a unit to measure the mass of the apple. The grape is smaller than the apple. Grams are smaller units that can be used to estimate the mass of the apple. Use a pan balance to find the mass of the apple, then reevaluate Stephen's estimate. The apple has a mass of 262 grams. 250 grams is close to 262 grams. Stephen's estimate is reasonable. 250 grams is a better estimate than 2 kilograms. Zoe says two apples would have a greater mass than a kilogram, and do you agree? No. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. In step two on page 770, why do you need to find the actual mass of the apple? Because we are comparing the sizes and we need to know the estimates. Okay. You can find an object that you think has a mass more than a kilogram and another that has a mass less than a kilogram and then determine what tools to use to check your estimate. You can do that. Circle the better estimate for each. 5 grams or 5 kilograms. 40 grams or 40 kilograms. Sunglasses, 16 grams or 1 kilogram. Envelope, 1 gram or 70 grams. Okay, down here you do your estimates on those ones, 7 through 18. On the back it says... Choose the best tool to describe each item described. Measure, write the correct letter of the tool on the blank. So which one of those would you use for the capacity of a mug, the temperature of water, uh, the length of a box, the mass of a pear, and the time you finish lunch. So you're writing the letter that matches those on the correct lines. Ethan will subtract a three-digit number from 920, he says the difference could be a one-digit number, a two-digit number, or a three-digit number. Write three subtraction equations that show each difference and be sure you start with 920 and subtract a three-digit number each time. You can use place value and mental math to help solve this problem. Clay learned that solids have a definite shape. Now he wants to measure some solids. So he measures the mass of a bead. The bead has a, has a mass of 10 grams. He estimates that 10 beads will have a mass of one kilogram. Is he correct and explain? Correct the mistakes in the shopping list. Below shopping list is two liters of apples, three kilograms of milk, and five centimeters of flour. Todd is thinking of an animal with a mass greater than one kilogram, but less than 200 kilograms. Name two animals that he could be thinking of. Anna has a bar of soap. She estimates its mass before measuring to find the actual mass. Does it make more sense to estimate the mass in grams or in milliliters? That is lesson four, six, estimate mass.